Today's topic, behind anger is always hurt. Hi, I'm Doug Holt with author of Your Own Story, and this is your Daily Growth Hack, where each day we give you a tip, trick, or insight to help you uplevel what we call the five to thrive. That is your mind, your body, your soul, your relationships, and your business. Now, right in the board right behind me in my office is the words, behind anger is always hurt. Now, the reason I wrote this up is because I was talking to one of my clients about this. Now, they were talking about how a couple of their staff members seem to always be angry. They seem to always be really upset. And then when they're in the boardroom having conversations, they seem to get more and more agitated. Now, they also happen to say that this happens to them at home with their spouse. Now, what I talk to them about is, hey, look, behind anger is always hurt. Right? You don't get angry unless something is hurting you, right? Unless you're upset, unless something has offended you in some way, shape, or form. And when we unpacked this, what they figured out was the way that they were communicating was actually offending the people that they were working with, but also they were taking that offensive behavior home with them. And they saw people getting angry and they just got more angry at them. And their actual mechanism was to leave. They actually vanished even from their own business uh, as well as their house. They would just storm out the door and, you know, then they had more anger, right? But what they didn't realize is that they were matching anger with anger. And the reason they were doing it is they were hurt. They were hurt because the people they were working with, the people they were close to, were getting angry at what they were saying. And they could, and this person, this client of mine, couldn't actually articulate it, what was going on. And so they would get hurt, right? They would get hurt that the people that they were working with, and this happened to be his employees, you know, at, at a high level, these were executives in his company, were actually getting angry with him and it hurt his feelings. But at the time he couldn't register that, right? He just met anger with anger and he stormed out. Now, fast forward, he would go home. The same thing would happen, right? He would have this energy, this kind of negative energy. He'd bring it home and he would tell his wife to do things uh, and she would get upset, right? She didn't want to be spoken to in that tone and that way. And then she would get upset, which would then cause anger, right? And she was hurt because of the way that he was treating her. He was treating her like an employee, like a staff member. He wasn't leaving work at home, at, in the office where, you know, where he works. He was taking it home with him, you know? Uh, and so then she would get hurt, then she would get angry, and then he would get hurt and he'd storm out, right? So it's important to remember these kinds of things, right? And I'm sure we've all been in that situation where we get angry because someone says something, uh, because someone does something, or maybe they don't do something. Now, this happens a lot in intimate relationships. It happens a lot when we're to the people we're closest with, right? They, they're the ones that can hurt us. You know, people you don't know, they, they don't tend to hurt you. They say something. A lot of times you could just rub off your shoulders or go down your back. No big deal. But the people that are closest to us, whether, you know, if you're a business owner, as I am, it, it could be your staff. They're like an extension of my family. But family can also bring this up. And that's what we talk. People talk about the holidays. Uh, that always ha that can happen often, uh, but also in your in your romantic relationships, of course, and and with your kids. And so just remember that when you're getting angry, behind anger is always hurt, hurt of some kind. So if you find yourself getting angry, ask yourself the question, and I encourage you to journal this. Ask yourself the question: Is why am I hurting? What hurt my feelings? Right. And I believe it's actually more manly, and it's a conversation since I coach mostly men that comes up often is, is doing this deep dive, this exploration work inside yourself takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of strength, and it does for women as well, right? And I think that courage is what really uh, comes forth. It, it takes a strong person to do this kind of work. Easy to listen to this, right? Easy for you guys just to listen to this and for me too and not do anything about it. But doing the work is where you get the results. Um, and so what I want you to also do is consider the next time someone gets angry with you, just look at them like a five-year-old child that's hurting, right? This works for me. Uh, it allows me to calm myself down and kind of lower my testosterone a little bit uh, so I don't rise up and meet them in a competitive way. That's what I used to do, which is kind of the, the, the house I grew up in, brothers and playing sports, being competitive. You know, you rise up against the challenge. So now what I do is if somebody gets angry, I just picture them kind of as a five-year-old and then I'm going, geez, in, inside I'm kind of the dialogue of, wow, they're hurting. And uh, I give them a moment and I just breathe 
and I give them, I usually count to 10 and then I ask them, hey, what's really going on? And almost every single time, the, all their anger dissipates because they're feeling heard, right? They're feeling represented, they're feeling heard and they can express what's really going on and we're able to move past it. We actually get closer um, almost every time this happens. So you get closer with that person because uh, you're relating to them. So that's my tip for you today. I encourage you to journal it because um, you're going to find so much more information by journaling this rather than just thinking it, right? And journaling it down when it happens to you especially. But right now, if this is new to you, this train of thought of behind anger is always hurt um, and doing this kind of work, then journal it when you're doing it, but also when you see other people doing it and it becomes automatic. And this allows you, again, to author your own story because now you're in control. You're in control of the ship. And yeah, you're still gonna get angry. You're still gonna get triggered. Things are still gonna happen in your life. And that's okay, that's totally cool. That's part of being human, right? But now you can catch it quickly. And that's the difference, difference that I've experienced and what I teach my clients and, you know, in business that can be the difference between getting a deal and not getting a deal and keeping employees and staff and not. I mean, right, staff leaves, that's a huge expense for training them and besides just the emotional commodity, of, uh, I guess emotions aren't a commodity, but the emotional aspect of, of having people leave your team want to keep great people around you and then at home of course and the loved ones so this is a skill i hope it works for you i'd love to hear how it works for you uh please let me know, know and leave a comment below um, wherever you're getting this and of course if you're listening to this right now on uh, itunes or on a podcast uh, obviously you can't comment but reach out to me i want to know how this is working for you and in, in your business and also in your home life uh, and as always, please go over to authorofyourownstory.com. If you haven't already, get on the newsletter because we do release extra special tips and uh, tricks and techniques on there to help you up level. Uh, and that's the key. Just keep reinforcing this information. And just like an old song that pops up in your head, these will pop up in your head as well. And it allows you to just have more control, more balance, and really more fun and enjoy life and be the author of your own story. That's it for me. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. I hope you enjoyed today's daily growth hacks. Please put your comments right down below and remember to click subscribe. This way we can ensure that we're delivering these daily growth hacks right to you each and every day. On behalf of the whole team here, remember, go out and be the author of your own story.